is called as bar body let us see lionization what is lionization sir what is the process of lionization sir if you take mary lion who is this fellow mary lion and liane russell these two people mary lion and liane russell proposed the lionization so what is lionization process sir here in the same female when two x chromosomes are present then what happened dose will be more in order to reduce the dose one of the two x chromosomes undergoes heterochromatinization process hetero chromatinization process okay so when the heterochromatinization process takes place so this heterochromatinized x chromosome heterochromatinization is nothing but for example dna is formed undergoes chromatinization process if it is normal dna uh, chromatinization process but when it takes place super coiling when it takes place super coiling this is called as heterochromatinization heterochromatinization this is normal chromatin material this is heterochromatin so heterochromatin is transcriptionally act inactive transcriptionally inactive so here in order to reduce the dose of the characters by the x chromosomes one of the two x chromosomes undergoes the inactivation process like heterochromatinization and it becomes transcriptionally inactive so this kind of inactivation of one of the two x chromosomes is called as lionization is called as lionization see how many bar bodies are present how the bar bodies can be calculated so bar bodies can be calculated by n minus 1 principle n minus 1 principle so n is equal to number of x chromosomes what is the n number of x chromosomes if two x chromosomes are there bar bodies are one if two x chromosomes are there how many bar bodies are present in the individual one means normally in the female normally in the female how many bar bodies are present one because number of x chromosomes in the female 44xx is the normal female okay now so number of x chromosomes is 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 normally in the females one bar body is present okay now so now you have to learn a separate thing males without myth bar bodies and females without bar bodies okay now let's see that example okay sir here 44 plus x0 actually this is turner's syndrome female or turner's female sir means this is a genetically disordered female if you take turner's female how many bar bodies are present what is the principle we use for bar bodies n minus 1 what the n is indicating number of x chromosomes how many number of x chromosomes are here one one minus one is equal to zero females without bar body is nothing but turner's female if you take klein filters male klein filters male sir normally males are without bar bodies normally females are with only one bar body klein filter male if you see 44 plus double xy it is male but karyotype is total number of chromosomes 47 here number of chromosomes is 45 so how many x chromosomes are there two minus one is equal to one how many bar bodies are there in the klein filter male one even though male it has one bar body so this is called as history of bar bodies okay na 
next see here there is third type of sex determination there is third type of sex determination that is haplodiploidy haplodiploidy let's see what is haplodiploidy sir this kind of haplodiploidy is majorly seen in the hymenopteran insects hymenopteran insects so especially in honeybees in the honeybees haplodiploid type of sex determination is taking place what type of sex determination is taking place haplodiploidy sir in the third type of sex determination this is the third type of sex determination in this haplodiploidy the sex is not determined by the sex chromosomes the sex is determined by the number of sets of chromosomes sex is determined by number of sets of chromosomes so number of sets of chromosomes will determine the sex